Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary, which we are calling Here in the Fog of Uncertainty. Some say that it's always darkest before it gets really dark. There's reason for despair, but there's no point in doing the blame game. We should rather do the forgiveness game. We should forgive the people who voted against their own interests and ours as soon as they realize they've been taken in. And soon enough, they surely will. It's not just Trump, Congress, and the Supreme Court we will have to worry about. It's also those followers and sympathizers who will take it upon themselves to do things they think will somehow please him. That could be equally destructive. We are still processing this dreadful election, and we are in a fog of uncertainty and fear. If you were anxious before the election, you should be much more anxious now. We don't know what Trump will say in the weeks to follow, or how his public statements will disrupt the Biden administration or the country or the world before he takes office. And we don't know what he will do on and after day one. We don't know whether he will follow through on his threats. We don't know whether his unhinged ideas will work or what that will cost or how that will likewise disrupt the country and the world. We only know that our lives will change. We do know that he will keep on making outrageous narcissistic statements to stay at the top of the front page and dominate the media, just as before. We won't like it, but there doesn't seem to be a lot we can do about it. Some say we need a democratic convention to knit the raveled sleeve of the Democratic Party back together again, in hopes that it can make a better showing in the midterms. That won't be easy. Others favor legislation to reverse the Supreme Court's ruling on immunity. Sorry, but that has no chance of passage. Some states, like California, are hoping to pass legislation that will protect them against Trump's most objectionable initiatives. But it remains to be seen whether these states will act in concert, whether their efforts will be successful, and whether Trump will be able to stop them from undermining his programs. At this point, what we really need to do is find a leader who can bring the party back together, make headlines, and find strength for the midterms. Who exactly would that be? It won't be easy. The party, such as it is, needs to identify, get behind, and promote that leader right now. Continued fragmentation is unacceptable and dangerous. And starting now, we all need to stay alert and watch what Trump does and how the country reacts. We need to spot the sea changes and connect the dots and plan for a better day. Patience alone is not the answer. Thanks for watching and thanks again for your consideration of the views expressed in this Think Tech commentary. We'll see you again soon for the next one. Aloha.